Okay. Are you ready? Always. <laughs> Okay, so we just started the hike. She's already tired. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> See you. hot day we started a bit late but uh, I think we'll have no problem getting getting uh, to our camp spot until uh, the Sun goes down it's a beautiful view don't know how much you can see it Okay, so we finally made it out of the, the woods and now we are starting the going on the upper sections. So these uh, these clouds, they don't look that good. We're going to go that direction. So let's hope the weather will be okay. The forecast was uh, sunny, so let's hope it will just go away. Especially because we are uh, we are planning on uh, camping at a higher altitude, so uh, let's hope we won't have any problems. We have here a person in pain. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I don't know, like 300 meters, we have uh, some sheep. So let's see if we'll have problems with some sheep dog because they tend to be really aggressive. Okay, so we, we just passed the dogs. The 
the shepherd helped us and we didn't get bit so that's a win okay so there i think it's uh, papusha peak and uh, i think that is yezer peak i'm not sure though so i'll have to go on the line and maybe we'll camp somewhere around there uh, I think uh, after that ridge there is, uh, there is a space that's more flat so I think we should be okay if not there are some uh, shelters that we can get down in the valley but um, the, the rain should, should stop by 6 p.m. so I think we'll have a nice uh, evening without any rain and clear sky So this is the view. <laughs> and uh, I think it started to rain, so. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um. And our first peak. Hail started and uh, we're trying to cover my backpack as quick as possible. Whew. There is no adventure without some rain, so we had to, to check that on the list. And I think it it lasted for about five minutes because it seems that that it will stop anytime soon, I think. And it's starting to rain again. Uh, so many crosses there. Uh, the, here it's uh, Yezer Refuge. And now it's in the folk. A minute ago it was visible. And I think that is the uh, Yezer Peak. After that I think we'll hike for another hour and a half and find a spot to camp the weather seems to to get better but it's getting a bit late it's five it's five o'clock that is not good it gets dark at 8 30 or 8 20 so we we should find by then a camping spot
Okay, so uh, just we just put the tent out. It it uh, we have some rains on and off a bit. It just starts raining, stops, the sun comes out, then again we only did uh, about 10 kilometers out of the 35, but we climbed the most of the elevation. Climb like 1000 200, 1300 meters, maybe a bit more. Uh, and uh, now I think we will eat. It's it's still early. It's I think uh, 6:30 p.m. But uh, we had uh, the highest part with uh, Yezer Peak, and uh, I don't think we had uh, that many options for camping there. So we are near. Uh, Yes, a refuge, it's a bit down, half an hour hike, 40 minutes away. Okay, so it's 5.30 a.m. and uh, we are packing up. We have about 25 kilometers today, but not a lot of elevation. A beautiful day we might have some rain after lunch but for now it's 6 30 7 o'clock it's really really beautiful we are I think like half an hour 40 minutes from uh, Yezer peak that that's the peak. Have to traverse through there and go up. Okay, so we finally arrived. It's 7.40 a.m. We arrived here at Vrfurosho actually, but Vrfu Yezer it's somewhere around here. <laughs> I think it's one of I think it's one of this. Maybe it was that one. I have no idea. But I think we, we have still enough time. We want to get to here to Vrfur Papusha, to Papusha Peak, and after that it's just going down. We are here. We already passed Yezer, actually, Yezer Peak. And we are here, have to go like this and come out here and we have our car here. So I think, uh, I think we are good.
Okay, so we have another flock of sheep there. Let's hope we will be okay. Because I think the dogs are on the trail. But... Yeah, they started already to bark at us. So, yeah, we have a pepper spray and the uh, trekking poles. <laughs> we should be fine. Okay, so we just managed to escape because they wouldn't listen to the shepherd. They just kept following us. Good thing we had the trekking poles because otherwise we might have got bitten. The reality of hiking in Romania. <laughs> just have to be really, really careful with the dogs. Stopped here for a lunch break. Lunch, it's 10 o'clock. So we came through there. So one of these peaks, I think that one, should be a uh, Batrena peak. We'll go, uh, we'll not go on the peak, we'll just try to go around it the way the, the shepherd goes with the donkeys. We have the bad clouds again. In about an hour or so, I think we'll uh, reach Papusha Peak. I don't know if we're going to go all the way up on the peak or we're just going to go around it. It's almost 12 o'clock, so I think we're we are good with the time. We have a really, really tired person here. Seems that on uh, Papusha Peak it's raining at the moment. Up there, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's another flock of sheep. sheep. And the dogs already started to bark. Only the second today. Okay, so that was the nicest shepherd so far. Talked a, bi a bit. Almost there. <laughs> started to rain a bit just a few drops so we 
head there, Papusha Peak. Go down the valley. Okay, so uh, okay, so we we made a choice. It's going to be the the shorter route. Going here and still under seven kilometers. It's not that much, not that short compared to the other one, but we are choosing this one. Okay, so this this variant that we chose, it's uh, about an hour or so to be quite steep and then it's just a fire road but we have this quite steep section a couple of kilometers I don't think you can see it on camera but basically we have to go down like 800 meters in 3 kilometers this uh, trail doesn't seem to be used all that often but it's still the, still quite clear we are almost done we are in the woods and we don't have much going down to do just another hundred two hundred meters at most Finally managed to arrive. Now back home. <laughs>